Good morning. Welcome to Fent Friday. We are in a uh, 700 Gen 6 Fent, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the two functionalities of how to drive a Fent. Uh, we get comments about how complicated they are to run, and um, I want to show you how uh, simple they are to run. And uh, we're going to do that first by just showing you how to start the tractor. Um, I, I, I have people say, I can't even figure out how to start the tractor. Um, if your tractor is equipped with a battery disconnect, um, pretty much on all Fent tractors, you're going to have a blinking light down here. And uh, you just power it on. And this one's already been on. So it's a matter of pushing in the clutch and turning the key on, let it cycle up and turn the key. You can let the clutch off and realistically in a Fent tractor, in any Fent tractor, any Challenger with a CVT, that's the last time you need to touch the clutch pedal. There's never, a, I mean, unless there's a situation where you want to stop instantaneously, uh, there's something dangerous happening in front of you, you don't need to push the clutch pedal again. Um, so once you've gone through the, the tractor's running, um, you've got an option down here on your joystick uh, for foot pedal, this little foot pedal. If it's green, that means it's on. If it's off, you're now in joystick, which would be uh, using this for driving. But right now, we're going to be in foot pedal mode. So once the tractor's running, and you're sitting here literally with foot pedal mode, this is your forward reverse lever right here, just on any tractor. You can literally just press forward. We're now in forward. Um, and you can see that flashing arrow indicates we're in forward. And at this point, all I do is pull the park brake off, and uh, we're actually on a hill, and we're not rolling anywhere. Again, I didn't touch a clutch pedal or a brake pedal. Um, Fent has dynamic braking, so if you are in forward or reverse, you're not going to roll anywhere. You can stop on a hill, and it'll stop. Uh, and in the same way, I mean, I'm in forward, I can just tap this lever right here. Now I'm in reverse, and I'm not rolling anywhere. So if I want to go forward, I merely just press forward, and uh, now I'm going to press on the foot pedal, or the throttle, and I start moving. Just as simple as that. And I can now go 31 miles an hour, but if I want to stop, all I have to do is let go of the pedal, and I stop. And again, we're still on a hill, uh, and we're not rolling anywhere. If I want to go into reverse, go backwards, all I have to do is press reverse, we're not rolling anywhere, press on the pedal, and backwards I go. And I can let go of the pedal, and it'll stop on this hill, and we're not going to roll anywhere. And if I want to go to park, I want to get out of the tractor, all I have to do is put the park brake on, climb out. It'll go to neutral on its own, and that's foot pedal mode. Okay, I'm just going to show you, like, if, if you understand how foot pedal works, and um, I just climbed into the tractor, I just want to show you how quickly uh, you can be moving in a fent and how, in, how simple it is. So uh, the tractor's off. I just sat down. I'm going to just go through the whole process, and we're going to just start rolling. So here we go. Ready? Clutch in. Start the tractor. Make sure it's in pedal mode. Pull the park brake off, put it forward. Here we go. Simple as that. Thanks.